Can't you tell? I'm as old as these waters are salty. For the harborers, the lighthouses are a cage. For us plagued, they're home. You best be on your way, lad. More than likely, the harborers are still eyeing you from shore. The hope they feel for ye ferrymen has waned, but they look to you still. Best give them a show at least. Make it to the tenth night, and they'll lose sight of ye. Oh, and a uh, lad. You'd be wise to keep an eye open. You never know what you'll find out there. <laughs> be on your way, lad. The rest of us are waiting. <laughs> Whether you're listening from the shore, the seas, or another delight, I hope your evening has been pleasant. On this dark night, I'd like to tell the story I heard way back in the harbor. It starts in my father's Maybe a little too much, which the other fishermen would confirm it, calling him crazy, as he would tell the most unlikely impossible stories about his travels. But he would share stories with me about seeing the treasure. Possible stories about his travels, but he 
he would share stories with me about seeing treasure. Hey, hey. It's been a while since I've had a guest. You're the ferryman, aren't you? Well, I appreciate the supplies. I've been surviving on canned cockles and brine broth for far too long now. Anyways, I'm just glad to have some company. Feel free to make yourself a home here. Certainly know I have. I reckon you're wondering about my arm. And my leg. And my, well, my everything, if we're being honest. It was those damned wall eaters. I tried prying them off the walls, and they walloped me. They're stronger than they look. I know they hate the light. But I dropped my lantern in the rush. The fool I am. At least the pooling water put out the fire. <laughs> You don't happen to have a spare lantern, do you? Oh, right. You should keep it. We're both plagued. We both know what we signed up for. Well, I reckon neither of us did much signing up for any of this, did we? But the second light is still within earshot of the harbourers, you know? I shouldn't stutter out nonsense like this with their graces listening. I'm happy to talk, but I know you're on important business. I wish I could continue further too, but, well, you see how it is. Good luck to you, friend. Great light be with you. supplies to the light keepers. It's a very important job. Your costume looks kind of like his, actually. Oh wait, do you work with Papa? That's so cool! We live in the third light. Papa says it's a big honor. Whatever that's supposed to mean. But our house is nothing compared to the great light. Have you heard of it? It's like one of these tiny little lights, but way bigger. And, and, did you know? It floats too! It floats way above the ocean, and the fog, and the sky. But for some reason, the great light is hiding right now. Maybe it's napping. Papa says one day the great light will come back as long as we keep the smaller lights shining bright. Isn't that awesome? I'm kinda confused. Back when I was a harborer, I thought there was only supposed to be one ferryman. Papa brought me along with him when he was hired. He said neither of us could stay at our old home anymore. I don't know why, but this new home is pretty cool too. Maybe you'll meet him on the way to the next light. He's coming back soon after all. If you see Papa out there, tell him to hurry up. I want some more brine soup. He says it's yucky, but it's my favorite. Maybe he'll make some for you when you see him. Oh, and uh, great light to you. Papa says that's something nice to tell guests when they visit.
Man, I presume. You can leave the supplies at the door. I'll lug the whole of it in later. Thanks. Is there something else you require? If you'd like a pick-me-up for the trip, feel free to take this vial. The stuff burns going down, but it's not bad for vigor. And it's not bad at staving off the plague, either. Ah, yes. It's a self-made remedy. I'm the best you'll find among the lights, if that's any consolation. I'm loath to ask, but have the harborers made any progress lately? Well, no surprise there. The mere fact that another of you had arrived essentially confirmed it. Still, you're lucky for a plague. Well, we're both lucky. It affects everyone differently. At least we were given a chance. A terrible chance. But a chance nonetheless. I'm well aware that we're within earshot, but the harborers won't come all the way out here. That's what they send you for, after all. You'd better get back out there. I hope you find some purpose in all this. You? Where did you- Oh, it's you, the ferryman. You don't know how long I've been waiting for these supplies. Praise it be the light! Oh, do my eyes deceive me? The ferryman's arrived! How oh, would you shut the hell up? Shut up? This is the most important day of my life. I no longer have to solely rely on seaweed crackers for sustenance. If you think you're getting any of my supplies, you've got a surprise coming! Your supplies? We must share to survive, my dear Bunky! I ain't your Bunky, pal. It's a privilege that I'm even letting you stay here. Uh, anyways, thanks for the supplies. I'm gonna eat good tonight! Oh, my bunkmate? Yeah, he's a complete freeloader. 
The guy that's supposed to be the ferryman comes in one day, and instead of delivering my supplies, he sets up camp right in my proverbial home. And even worse, his ship was half sunk and all of his supplies were soaked. Pisses me off. Hey, I mean, you've already done more than he ever has by simply getting the supplies here in one piece. Well, at least I have food now, and I'm not sharing. I love it here. The fifth light is so cozy. I was never a fan of my life back with the harborers anyways. Everybody's much too stuffy back there. sore eyes. Welcome to me abode. You look like you've seen a storm or two. Take a rest by the fire, would you? It's the least I can offer for your supplies. You partial to seafood? I'm a fisherman these days, though I wouldn't blame you if you're tired of the sea by now. I reckon you've seen a siren by now, I. Eh? I understand they lure you in with a trinket, but their comfort comes at a price. Sirens be attuned to the weather unlike any other seafaring being. Torrential downpour ain't too much of a worry in this here light. But you best keep your head on your vessel. The farther you stray from home, the more dangerous your journey. I learned that myself. Legends abound of a legendary being abounded between the harborers. Fishers at home would speak of it only in whispers. You are smart to fear it, hear ya. You know what I speak of? The Fog Eater, lad. If she graces you with her presence, you best hunker down with the lights low, ye engine silent. She harbors a fury for our kind. A fog signals her approach. If he spy the fog eater from above decks, let your engine go silent, your lights dim. I have naught else to tell you, lad. May he go in peace, and may the great light be with ye.
<laughs> what do we have here? A guest. A guest on my doorstep. <laughs> Plagued has arrived in my den. Many thanks for the nourishment, fairy man. There is something romantic to the sea, is there not? <laughs> you must harbor many burdens, many worries, many weights. The sea is a warmth. Embrace the warmth, plagued. The sea is your home. <laughs> you do not belong here, fairy man. You belong below. Now, would you like a gift? Come over me. Great light be with you. Great light be with you. Great light be with you. Great light be light. It's the damned light! Searing, sharp, cold. My walls, they're my walls. I'm safe. I'm safe inside. And they are safe. Inside of me, dimming, dimming. Why are you still here? You hoarder, taking it from me. You're taking it from me. Be gone! Be, listen to me, plagued. It's not coming back. Not the great light, nor my home, nor my health, nor anything. He was right. The sea wasn't warm enough. This light, it isn't enough either. Leave, leave, before you become, before you steal this from me. The plague, a gift. Nine, seven, one. 
been such a long while since I've had a guest, but I'm happy you're here. Oh, I'm one of the broadcasters out here in the lights. Maybe you've heard me over the radio. I believe they began providing one for the ferryman. <laughs> in my time, our ships were far more bare bones. If you wanted to bring a radio, you had to purchase one in your lonesome. Rest assured, the microphones are off. The broadcast is paused for now, and out here, the harbors can scarcely hear a word. You've made it far, Ferryman. I wish I could say that things will get easier, but I'm sure you realize by now that the truth runs quite contrary to that. Many of the lights stand empty from here on out. It's rare for a ferryman to make it here. What with the sea, the plague, and the... Well, it's quite grim, isn't it? I don't know if you believe what the harborers say. I won't say it's complete drivel. It pays for the ferryman to have hope and all. But there's only so much we plagued can take. Endless cycles, endless demons, endless bounds of lightless sea. There has to be an end to it, you know. Before I settled into the ninth light, I stopped at the eighth to make deliveries as a fair man does. The keeper there was an accommodating man, polite enough, but his light was flickering, dimming. And to make matters worse, I believe he was beginning to drive himself mad with endless cycles. He refused to settle, refused to give up on the cause of bringing back the great light. He was succumbing. Oh, I shudder to think what becomes of him now. Point is, that shook me. We're cursed. All of us. But that doesn't have to be our fate. You've made it far, Ferryman, but it'll never be far enough. Not for you. Not for the harbors, not for the great light to return. Find an abandoned light, one without a keeper, and settle. That's just my advice, ferryman. The tenth light has appeared vacant for a while now. I'd encourage you to stick around there a little longer. Feel things out. You're free to do as you please, but I believe there's more to our lives than endless cycles. I hope to see the tenth lights glow from here soon. Also known 
as my personal training dojo. You have the warrior's blood flowing through you. I can see it just from that look in your eyes. I bet you've crushed the skulls of a hundred wall eaters by now. Or maybe you Velvo dropped a couple thousand sirens. Or, is it possible? Have you even slain the Fog Eater? Well, regardless, it's an honor to have you here today. If you've made it this far, you have my undying respect, brother. I only stopped here because I got tired of conquering so many sea demons. I figured I should let someone else have a little bit of fun, you know? You gotta shoot for the 20th light? Great light be with ya! You gotta shoot for the 20th light? Great light be with ya! 